All right, what's up, everybody? Hella Bass back here with another Fantasy Fishing Edge. Two stops left. We have one regular season event and then the AOI Championship on the Detroit River Lake St. Clair uh, finale, which will be awesome. But if you've been living under a rock, we are no longer going to Fort Gibson. We are going to Lake Tenkiller. So uh, there's some dam, there's some hot water. Things are still going all bad at Fort Gibson. So uh, just this last week, they announced the schedule for the uh, elites that are going to Lake Tenkiller. So make sure you know that. Take a peek through this article. Things you need to know. 16-inch minimum on this lake. It's a smaller lake. It has smallies, largies, and spots. So expect uh, the anglers to possibly go for the cycle this week. Um, I think the minimum on spots is 12 inches and then uh, 16 inches on largies and smallies. So, uh, And then uh, much clearer water. So we have falling water, but it's cleaner water than Fort Gibson. That's a little bit high, but coming down. Um, so read through this article. There's a lot of good details in here. Um, but this lake is much more like your typical Table Rock Ozark Lake than it is Fort Gibson. So keep that in mind when you're picking your picks. Um, and it should be kind of an exciting lake. So let's get into some of the pundit picks this week. Um, so Thomas Allen says, uh, level playing field at 10 killer, which is true. Um, almost nobody has any information. Nobody knew to look here until they had to make this update. So this really should be a fair tournament, um, and an exciting one to watch. It really should be like a no info tour. And there shouldn't be a lot of a previous experience in the field. Um, Thomas Allen likes Leicester. I think that's a decent pick. The East Tennessee guys could do okay. A lot of those high-level or Highland and Poutments and like Douglas and Cherokee and those lakes could fish very similar to this. Um, so I like that pick. Uh, Dark Horses, he's covering his bases with three picks there. Um, <clears throat> Fighter, Zeldane, Canterbury. Um, if I was Canterbury, I think I would have preferred it to stay on Gibson. I think that really would have played into his strengths, uh, covering water with a jig and a buzzbait. But uh, we'll see. I still think he can catch him anywhere, so that'll be interesting to see. Bucket B, he's going with a local, uh, at least one of the few anglers from Oklahoma. That's a pretty decent pick. Um, although I get the feeling Palmer's strength is a little bit dirtier water, um, but we'll see. I do like his backup pick being Clifford Perch. <clears throat> um, bucket C, D, and E, save you the excitement. Uh, both Coy and Allen have picked all the same anglers, Mullins, Hudnall, and the Aussie, Carl Jockinson. Um, I can see the Mullins pick. He's a little streaky for me. Um, Hudnell, I like the angle. He's been fishing super great, but I just don't trust a Louisiana guy in this clear water. Now, he's done all right on other fisheries, but I'm just not uh, feeling it this week, although I do think it's a good pick. And I just cannot pick Jockamson at all this season. You know, hopefully he resets, he rebounds. Maybe next year he'll get back on track, but he has just disappointed himself and all the people that have picked him all year long. So I would say stay away and don't trust those picks. Jumping over to Coy. Um, he likes Zeldane. I really like that pick too. Um, I really struggled with possibly picking Zeldane, but I went a different direction. We'll see why in just a few minutes. Um, and then he likes Cobb for B and I, I don't know, you know, Cobb's a great angler. Seems like his confidence and momentum is a little low right now coming out of that Northern swing. So let's see if we can rebound on a Southern fishery. So that's an interesting pick for sure. But I think both these guys should have went with their backup picks in Bucket B and should go with the Golden Ram. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So getting into my picks, uh, Bucket E, I couldn't take uh, the Aussie. I'm thinking Randy Sullivan, Texas guy, should have some kind of clue. Maybe he's went up there and fished some regional tournament. I'm just kind of taking a fly and trusting my gut on this one. Um, bucket D. Uh, looking for something with some reasonably low ownership here with high confidence that could do well. I really don't trust Kennedy. He's let me down all this year. He's got the majority of the picks and the percentages. Hudnell as well. I took Randy Pearson because he's from California. A lot of guys from California seem to do well and feel really confident when they show up on Beaver and the Ozarks and Table Rock uh, and places like that. So it looks like that kind of lake on paper. Uh, just going history, I'm really focusing on uh, it being an Ozark style lake and how I pick my team. And I think he could be a strong pick and a really good dark horse. Um, bucket C, I think everybody's looking overlooking Snowden here. This should be right in his wheelhouse. He lives on Table Rock Lake. This lake should fish very similar. So I think for the, the bargain at 11.7%, he's a great pick. Um, much more so than some of these other guys. Uh, they're getting much more percentage. Not saying they won't catch him, but I think 
Snowden is a sneaky good pick uh, for bucket C. Bucket B, um, I think the Golden Ram is a great pick here. Um, coming from out west as well, I think he should do really well. Um, if you want maybe a little bit safer pick, I think Luke Palmer could be really good. I think Micah Frazier could be really good being a Carolina guy here. Uh, but in the end, I'm going perch, um, looking for some big moves to make a jump with just two events to go. Uh, and finally, bucket A, I really was torn between Zaldane. I really wanted to pick him, but the percentage was just too high. Uh, I'm going to go with Blaylock. He's been kind of up and down this year, but I'm looking for him to rebound, um, expect big things. He should understand how to fish these Ozark lakes in the uh, late summer, which can be a really tricky time. So look for these Ozark guys to excel. Not necessarily home field advantage, but they should be very familiar with how these lakes set up and how well they do. Uh, overall weight, 68 pounds, 4 ounces. If you think about it, if people are going to bring in a limit of 16 inches, they're probably going to weigh, you know, 15, 16, 17 pounds a day. So I look for that to be the target weight to win. So hopefully there's some nuggets in here for you this week. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Hellabass so you don't miss any updates and new videos coming out. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.